All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, let me give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachachrash, double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all Akim, Wa, Akwatim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. This is going to be another uh, video to the Spirit. You know, I was doing some meditating uh, these past couple days. Uh, uh, and you know, it's, I made a couple comments. Uh, to one brother in particular and a couple comments to another brother and they all basically said the same thing you know dealing with the fact that us the nation of Israel uh, you know we're in this uh, lam lamentable uh, state but it all had to happen for a reason you know I was like I was like damn you know are we man man I don't know I'm tired of sinning you know I want to get up out of here this shit is whack but it all had to happen uh, for a reason. This is the way that uh, the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, uh, directed the script. All right, because it's actually it's going to be to to our gl glorification. All right, and it's going to be to show the might and the power of the Most High. All right, so let me start with this scripture. You know, because when you're in that morning spirit, you know, you like, damn, why me? You know, that woe was me, but, you know, you can't dwell on that spirit for too long because you get all depressed and shit. Next thing you know, you'd be back in the world <laughs> if the Lord ain't dealing with you. All right, this is Isaiah chapter uh, 63. Con Isaiah 63 and 17. Uh, it says, O Lord, or O Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways and harden our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servant's sake. The tribes of thine inheritance. All right, and that's the spirit, you know, that I was in. I was like, I was like, dang, you know, like, well, I, I mean, you know, we know why, according to the scriptures, you know, all prophecy has to be uh, fulfilled. But when you actually, when you look at Jake, we're absolutely, it's, it's not even comparable to how we are now compared to how we used to be. You wouldn't be able to tell that we're the chosen people uh, based on our condition. Why? Because we keep doing things that are adverse to the laws. We keep doing things that are adverse to what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has commanded us. The Heavenly Father says, don't eat this, and we eat it. The Heavenly Father says, don't lie, steal, cheat, and steal. We lie, cheat, and steal. The Heavenly Father says, don't kill, don't just be murdering people, and we just out, get up and Jacob could just uh, pistol you down on the block, you know, for some Jordans. All right, and so that puts you in a mode to where you just want all of it to end. You want the heavenly, you want salvation uh, instantly, but that can't uh, happen right now. Uh, and I'm gonna get this next scripture. All things have to be done in decent uh, decency uh, and in order. So we have to wait until the appointed time. Romans. Where is it at? Where is it at? I believed it was 13. I could be wrong. Romans 13. So lucky. Let me uh, double check. Brothers probably already know the next scripture. Backing it up with that uh, Isaiah. So lucky. <clears throat> Romans um, 8, okay, that's, yeah, that's, okay, Romans 8 and 20. Kind of says, uh, I'll start at 18, perfect. It says, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right, which is true. All right, so ultimately all this is going to be, you know, ruling for the rest of time. All the blessings that we're going to be uh, given, and then uh, being granted to the, the ability to no longer sin, it's going to completely outweigh everything that we're going through now. So, it, hey, it's uh, this is just the condition that we have to be in. This is the means to the end. All right, this is the condition of the battle. Verse 19 for the earnest. Romans 8 19. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waiteth for the manifestation of the sons of the most high power. So, and not only just people, even 
the damn bugs are waiting, all right, for the salvation, all right, for Yahweh Shai to rise and uh, or return, and for the elect to rise, all right, and beat down Esau, Edom, and the rest of these heathen nations, and to establish righteousness within the earth, all right, the whole world, even the wicked, whether they uh, inward, whether they realize realize it or not, their souls inwardly, all right, every spirit in creation is looking towards. Uh, the mighty work that the Heavenly Father is about to have acted out through His Son, all right, whether they realize it or not. It's just a matter of waiting. It's just a matter of patience. All right? Esau had to come to power. We had to go into slavery. All right? Yahushua had to be crucified. The apostles, uh, which were the disciples before He left, had to do their ministry for years on end, and then uh, many of them get put to death. We had to have a period of us going into idolatry so that Shai would have someone to redeem back in the first place. So all these things had to happen. And I, you know, that, that's something you have to keep in your mind. When you get in that spirit, you know, you got to shake it. No, fuck it. You know, this had to, this had to happen. You shake that, because uh, if you let that spirit dwell for too long, what that can turn into is uh, a spirit of hatred towards Yahushim Yahushai. All right, because you got guys out there. I seen it on a comment board the other day. His name was Judah Dorr. He was on Elder Apostle Tahar's common board talking about uh, why would the Heavenly Father uh, uh, create something and fuck it up on purpose just to fix it. You know, he got to scoff. All right, and that's what it'll, if you don't uh, know how to counter that spirit, it can turn into, uh, you, that, you can turn to that, you get on that scoff shit. All right, but that's what, hey, that's what the scriptures is for. So we have understanding. Verse 20, for the creature was made subject to vanity not willingly, all right, so it's not like we, hey, look, we don't, well, the righteous, you know, Lord will not be a part of, if we had things our way, we wouldn't still be here right now, there wouldn't be homos walking around, all right, we wouldn't be wearing mixed fabric, we wouldn't be eating abominable foods, but we're not having it our way, it is not of our will, it is like it says in James, the Lord will, all right, it says not willingly, but by reason of him, who hath subjected the same in hope. So this is, it had to happen so that we have hope, so that we have something to look forward to. We're supposed to feel weak and powerless. Therefore, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai will receive uh, his glory. And so now, actually, let me get something, because this, this, this is the reason that uh, uh, Pharaoh was raised up. To show the power of Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai. God, this is perfect. Romans chapter 9. Ooh, ooh. Perfect. Romans chapter 9. Ooh, Salaki, I'm looking down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, snap. Uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 15. It says. For he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Hey, the Most High does what he wants. So then it is not of him that willeth, willeth, so it's not as we want it, nor of him that runneth. All right, it's not by any man's strength or might or intelligence. Hey, hey chance happeneth to all. It says, but of the Most High power that showeth mercy. All right, so everything is given into the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. The victor doesn't go, uh, or no, how is it, uh, what is it, to the spoils of the victor? No, the, the, everything goes to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. The victory is of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 17, for the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even of the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. So that's why all these things had to happen, just like with Pharaoh in ancient Egypt. All these trials, all these high points and low points in Israelite history had to happen so that at the return of our Messiah, you know, hey, it'll be it'll be a great and glorious occasion. Verse 18. Because if we, hey, look, if we, if we were living it up right now, if every Israelite had a fucking Lamborghini or a, a goddamn uh, personal Skyline jet, we wouldn't be leaking. We wouldn't be looking towards salvation. We wouldn't be wanting to get out of here. We wouldn't be calling on the name of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Alright? So that's why, hey, things aren't going to go good. Shit's always going to fuck up. Something's always going to happen. 
every so often you are going to go off, all right? And you're going to have to realize it and accept it and grow from it, all right? Every so often, you know, if you might get something good that happened to you, then you might get something three times as bad that happened to you. But if, of, if you're of the elect, you're going to maintain your integrity and you're going to ride this bitch out to the end. All right, verse 18. Therefore hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, and whom he will, he harden it. Thou, so he does, he puts it in people's minds to do whatever he chooses. 19. Thou wilt say then unto me, a uh, slot. Thou wilt say then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who hath resisted his will? So, you know, this is one of the scoffers' uh, standpoint. You know, oh, well, 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 hey, look, we do that in which we are told. All right, there's another scripture in the Sirach that tells you, uh, basically, you don't, you can't blame the Most High when you're drawn off to wickedness. It was you going after your own lust. There's an, uh, which is also in that, in the same chapter. Look, we, we don't necessarily have free will, but we have... We are given the choice to pick between good and evil. All right. Ultimately, everything is determined uh, beforehand. All right. You might wake up and be planning to go somewhere, and the next thing you know, your damn leg breaks. All right. Predestination. But you have a choice. The Heavenly Father gave us the choice to choose to do good and evil. All right. So, hey, people, if you, shit, if you fucked up, that's on you. Shit. <laughs> Verse 20 says, Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the Most High Power? And we can't do that. All right? We're not, we can't question the Most High Power's authority, which is what many people in this world do today, and those people are going to perish. All right? It says, Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? All right? I'm going to end it on that. So, us being the creations, we can't get all butthurt and buck with the Most High. This is his picture. This is his story. We had to go off for a reason. We had to fall so that when we stand up, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a, a very powerful uh, conclusion. All right, everyone likes a good back and forth fight. Everyone likes uh, a Rocky Balboa, you know, back and forth, slug them out, punch them out, uh, glorious battle until one is deemed the victor. All right, you know, so we'll just yeah, keep that in mind whenever that spirit gets on you. You know, don't let that turn you into a scoffer. Just remember that all these things. Uh, had to happen for a reason. All right, so um, uh, with that, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, or Kakurash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wa, Agwathim, learning, teaching, and truth, and in sincerity. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom.